Hey, it's Tim. And it's Amy from Go With Less. Thanks for being here with us today. In today's video, we're gonna tackle a really fun subject. Speaking of fun, it's all about our fun, fabulous, frugal finds. We've been lumping these in at the end of our monthly spending reports each month since maybe May, and it's gonna get its own video this week, so I hope you'll stay tuned. Every Wednesday here on our channel, we come out with a new video talking about typically our early retirement or our nomadic lifestyle. In 2015, in our late 40s, we left our careers and retired. And in January of 2020, we sold our home and became full-time nomads. And before we get into some of our little treats and tips in the video, we want to frame some concepts because why are we even doing this sharing of stuff? We're not about stuff. We're go with less. We spent the end of 2019 pouring our hearts out on video about getting rid of our belongings and it wasn't easy. So why are we talking about stuff? It kind of seems crazy. Well, the reason why is because we are in our small SUV tooling around the country now that our international travel plans have been stunted with COVID and we are bringing some items into our lives to make our lives more rich. And so we wanted to share those because some of those are really fun. And it turns out our audience has enjoyed them. I think also I had a personal realization. I think Amy has realized this a long time ago, <laughs> but I'm coming around to, I guess, owning up to it. And that is that I really like to buy stuff. I really like to find a deal, I think, more than just buying things. And so we'll talk about in some of my fun, frugal, I never can get this right, but when we talk about our <laughs> stuff today, one of the things I, I, I'll divulge is a, an app that I love that sort of helps with this. But I love finding a deal, and it seems like every week there's something that pops up that uh, it just satisfies this desire for me to continue to buy. I think it's a little unusual for typically the man in a relationship to be the guy, the it's person. Not stereotypical, it's not stereotypical to be the, the, the consumer, the shopper, and I, I think that's me. I guess luckily I'm not buying expensive things and I found ways to sort of satisfy that need of wanting to go and buy things with uh, again we'll talk a bit about that today as we get into this but uh, nonetheless uh, a confession I, I am a consumer well, as we're going around the country in our car, a thing really needs to have some serious value to get in our car because our car is kind of getting full. Plus, we have to pack it up and move it and unpack it and pack it up and move it and unpack it. So it really has to be something that we really love. Now, you may notice if you've been watching this that most of mine are consumable things. So they tend to be in the health and beauty categories or in the food categories. And that really makes sense because these are consumable items pretty much. So Tim's is a little bit more of a, a wild card, but that, that's kind of where my passions are. And also I think that it's really, I think this is a big benefit to us living our frugal life. So we aren't looking for the world's cheapest life at all. There's many, many things that we could cut out to live more cheaply, but finding splurges and indulgences in these very small, low price point items allows us to really to feel that splurge and that richness of our life that means that, means that like the big frugal decisions are really not an issue because we already feel like rich and extravagant because I have a fancy cup of tea or something like that. And I think that it's kind of an unusual phenomenon. I encourage you to look for places in your own life where you're finding these little frugal indulgences because I think that it makes our life richer as we're really paying attention. Yeah, and so I, I completely agree. And so I guess I'll start out today with my first frugal find, <laughs> whatever it is. And so that's going to be an app that I really like. It's called Flip, F-L-I-P-P. -P. I think it's on Android and iOS. And so what this app allows you to do, the sell circulars that you get from your grocery store chains or from Target or Walmart or whatever, this app takes, you basically put your zip code in the app and it'll tell you all the stores around you that have a sale circular that used to come out in the Sunday paper or sometimes they're actually mailed to you now. They're displayed in a digital format in this app. So it's really cool. So on Tuesday, the apps come out, I'm sorry, the advertisements come out for the grocery stores because the new sale starts on Wednesday. And so you can go in and look at what's new on sale at the grocery <laughs> store. And strangely, I get really excited about really the things excited. that are on sale at the grocery store. So every week there's something at the local stores that tend to be on sale that I get excited about. Maybe it's 33 cent avocados or it's the, the uh, flavored water that we like, the seltzer water. Uh, maybe that goes on sale at a great price somewhere. Every week there's something at the stores. So I don't know that this necessarily, this exercise for me, like I mentioned earlier, this just satisfies my desire to consume 
in a frugal way. I don't know necessarily that it's always going to four different grocery stores to find the cheapest thing at every grocery store. We have the time to do that in our frugal life. Back when we were working or whatever in our, in our retired life, not our frugal life. And I don't know that it's necessarily the most frugal thing because maybe the gas that I use and certainly the time <laughs> that I use to get to all these grocery stores, it doesn't make sense. But I love this app in that it lets me find these deals and I can go to the grocery stores and, and get all the deals at the grocery store that I want in a given week. So great app, Flip. And it's very accessible like on digital so you can hit uh, things that you like, add it to your shopping list. So it's very flexible. I like it as well. Now I, okay, so when we came to Washington, we're now in Washington State. When we drove across the country, we stopped in our former hometown of Denver for eight nights. And we know that there is a grocery store chain that has a lot of locations in Denver called Sprouts. If you have a Sprouts near you, they, even during COVID now, they are selling bulk spices. Now who cares? So for us in our nomad life, I'm not going to be bringing, I gave away like 50 to 100 jars of exotic spices, normal spices, my cinnamon, my coriander, whatever. All that left as well as all kinds of cool specialty spices. But we were getting really bored with our food because we didn't have, I didn't want to be buying hundreds and hundreds of dollars of new spices when we could be going on our international trip at any point. Plus we had to schlep all that around. Well, here comes Sprouts. So Sprouts, I'm going to show you, you're not even going to, I think you're not going to believe. This is not going with less. So wait till you see. Hold on. We went and bought these. Do you see? Well, they All smell of these, amazing. Yes, each one of these is a different spice. So the cool thing at Sprouts is you could get these little um, Ziploc bags that they give you and get up to like, and the smallest that you can buy is 25 cents worth. Now all of these different things, most of them were like 25 cents. So I don't need a lifetime supply of smoked paprika, but I mean, this is probably gonna last me for like a year. And then we were able to buy some really cool ones. So we tried something that we haven't ever used before, za'atar. Have you used za'atar? I'm now gonna be adding something with za'atar into my cooking repertoire. Another one, Raz El Hanout. Um, I think it's Moroccan and it's like 15 different spices all together. We rubbed our grilled chicken thighs with it. It was incredible. Incredible. It's so easy. Basically, it's just a, we put a little olive oil on it, we put the spice on there and it makes a great rub. Oh my goodness. Star anise. Oh, that smells so good. And then garam masala. So we have, I, I, man, I see my cumin and curry powder. It turns out that even though we do house sits in people's homes, I haven't been able to find any kind of really good spices. So we've been in Airbnbs, we've been in house sits, and some houses have good spices, but it's not consistent. And so does I, in our first three places we were in for six weeks each for three places, no one had curry powder. Well, I put curry powder in our tuna salad, in our chicken salad, and it doesn't taste as good without curry powder in it so yeah so sprouts spices and just a little bit and see what you think and try something new yeah this this was a great find so i'm gonna i'm gonna say that was also mine as well so i i've really <laughs> enjoyed these so this was fantastic and, and then, hold on when we oh, keep them out in our kitchen oh, yeah. and our whole kitchen smells like a spice it store. smells incredible it does yeah. it, it's a really this, this was an, an amazing find so, so it's like the best both, air freshener in the world we're both thrilled with this find. <laughs> so my second thing is going to be um a, a razor basically <laughs> it's a, this is a weird thing again so i have shaved with an electric razor all of my life since I've been shaving. I think eons ago I might have tried to shave with a, a regular manual razor, but um, it just it, it seemed like a big hassle. An electric razor I could just shave, and so I decided to go ahead and give this a try. So I signed up for I think it's Harry's, and so when I think when I started researching this, I, if you guys have probably experienced this as well on Facebook, as soon as I Googled razor, every <laughs> ad I get on Facebook is about razors, and so finally I was sold on the idea of trying out this because Harry's of advertising razor because of advertising. And so I signed up, I got this Harry's razor, I happened to buy it at Walmart, so I bought a can of shaving cream there, and I am I'm sold on this <laughs> idea of shaving with a normal razor. So it gives me, a, so the problem is, is that I want to touch my face all the time, and in this time of COVID, that is not a great thing. But it's really incredible the difference that uh, this makes in terms of shaving. I don't know that it's frugal. It may translate into being frugal. So the thing with the, the way I would use an electric razor, I would buy one and use it for like four years. And so certainly I think uh, that's not the way you're supposed to do it. But my 
dollar investment would last me for four years. Whereas these razors, it seems like that uh, with the Harry's, it's almost uh, two dollars uh, every other week or something like that, which is a, a lot. But I think that there are other razors out there that I'm going to try. Something else is this gives me a chance to sort of this consumerism that I talked about earlier. Now I can go and try and find cheap razors every week <laughs> using the Flip app. So now I have this opportunity to consume something else. And I guess shaving cream also. Now I have something else to add to my list of things that uh, uh, I can buy. So it, I, I'm really excited about And Amy's actually sort of tired of me talking about this shaving because it seems like it's that's all I talk about. And so uh, <laughs> I, I am excited about being able to shave with a razor. Also, I don't have to worry about electricity anymore. Now, if I were out in the woods somewhere and I wanted to <laughs> shave, so it's a win for me. Well, first of all, we're never in the woods. We're not camping people. So I don't know where sure. Tim thinks we're going to be without a lot of electricity. But uh, but it's not that I'm sick of it, but Tim, is Tim. this is the thing he's been like the most passionate about of his entire life has been shaving. So it makes me laugh. He talks about it all day, every day for the past month, and he's like touching his face all the time. It's hilarious. Um, so good for Tim. I'm not, I don't have any problem with it. Enjoy your shave. It's great. <laughs> okay. It is the season here for the harvest. And we are in Washington State where oh, there's all these farms. We're in a very farming community here in Skagit County. So I'm going to be sharing some fun, uh, fresh produce. So we've eaten a lot of these, but these little mm. cherry tomatoes. So, okay. We have bought at least three of these of cherry tomatoes and they're five dollars and fifty cents a pint is that super frugal absolutely not that is quite expensive but they are so so delicious if i buy four of these a year that's like i mean under 25 dollars, and it brings us such joy we eat them i don't know they're almost so sweet they are almost like candy so really good local produce at its peak season is worth spending a little bit more for so check out your produce stands because tis the season for everything to be going gangbusters. Like I said, it's not the cheapest thing sometimes, but it can be so delicious that, again, it's just, it's kind of like a, a little bit of a splurge. Let me show you something else. Oh, while Amy's away, I also have, there's <laughs> an in interesting dynamic here with this <laughs> that goes on here in, in, in Washington where we are. I didn't, we didn't see this back in Colorado and this might happen around the country, but our local grocery stores have a phenomenal amount of produce. However, there are these little produce stands or even larger produce stands that have just a crazy selection of produce in and of themselves. And they're like open market sorts of things. So they're really kind of cool and something that I think is, um, I don't know if it's unique to the region, but something we just like going and exploring and maybe finding different kinds of produce or things that we might not otherwise find in the grocery store. Like this. Oh. So it is, <laughs> perfect, thanks, hon. This is, it's winter squash season is coming up. So we see pumpkins at the stand and acorn squash and butternut squash and things like that. But the cool thing at these local produce kind of stands is that you can find new things. So they call this, I don't know what the name of it is, but it's set to have a texture like mashed potatoes. So isn't that something that's so fun? We're really excited. It's starting to get a little bit cooler here. So we're excited to cook this baby up and have this mashed potato-y kind of a winter squash. So not only do you have more delicious, local, seasonal, creative things, it just, it supports your local farmers and that's a really worthy thing, I think. So. So that's mine. So we're gonna wrap it up to keep it on the little bit of a short side today. But what I'm asking for from our audience is where, what can you share with us? So not only that you're sharing your fun, fabulous, frugal finds with us, but I, like I said at the beginning of the video, I think that by thinking about it and looking out for it, you kind of start putting on a little bit of different glasses to be looking for these things in your life. It's kind of like, I don't know, like stopping and smelling the roses. It's just appreciating the little things. And if you can share them with others, even all the better. Yeah, absolutely. Also, if you happen to know anything about razors, <laughs> <laughs> you can share with me deals you might find on cheap razors. So looking for that. Wow. Okay. With that, we're going to see you next Wednesday. If you like this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up because we are just trying to see how this one does on its own. I hope that you enjoyed it. We'll see you next Wednesday. Bye. Adios.